Hello beginner viola players, I'm Ruth and I'm talking to you from the virtual Benedetti sessions. Let's get warmed up and ready to play. So we're going to start off with just our instrument and not our bow yet. So set your bow somewhere safe to begin with. Um, now, you've just got your viola, so hold onto your viola by the neck like that. And then on the bottom of your viola, you'll see there's a little button down there. So you can take your bow hand and you can point and then find the button down there. Now we're going to imagine now that we are a lollipop person and we're stopping the traffic. So we're going to do some swinging like this with our instrument. Be really careful that you don't drop it. And then we're going to stop the traffic like that. Okay. And once you've done that, then I want you to stretch it right up to the sky and then bring it down to rest on your shoulder somewhere really comfortable. So we're gonna want that button to be in the side of our neck, not out to the front there, no drooping violas like this, or a pie like this, we're just gonna bring it to rest there somewhere really comfortable. Okay, now I would like you to take your pinky finger and give a little wave like that, and then grab your C string with your pinky finger and swing your elbow around and strum. And do some strumming like that. That's great, well done. When you've done a few of those, you can stop. And then we're going to tap on the wood of our instrument. So it's not on this side, that's the easy side. It's over here on this side, it's a bit harder and it means that our viola is definitely gonna be right up on our shoulder. Now I'm gonna tap you a secret message and I want you to tap it straight back to me like an echo. Here I go. So your viola should be in a really good position now. That finger that was strumming, it can wave again. And now you can carefully pick up your bow. And I'd like you to hook your bow on to your pinky finger like that. So it's just hanging there. The hair should be facing you. And then you can wave at me with your bow hand. And now you're going to stroke all the way down your bow like that and find the place where you hold the bow. You can even lift your bow up and down a little bit like that, make your fingers go to the gym and do some weightlifting. Okay, and now you're gonna to want to have your fingers curled over. Everything about bow holds is curled fingers that are relaxed. So we're gonna have these three fingers curled over, pinky finger on top and a bendy thumb. And when you're ready, you can unhook your bow and then you can lift it right up to the sky. Okay, now, I need your imagination for a moment. I need you to imagine that we are on an alien planet and our bow is a rocket. And we're gonna to come to land silently on the D string, but we can't make any sound because if we do, then the aliens on this planet will know we're here. Okay, so let's put our bow right up into the air and then come to land silently on D. Did you manage? Back up we go, and this time let's land silently on C. Well done. Back up again, and let's do the A string. Oh, that's a tricky one. Notice that my elbow's nice and low here on the A string. It's not sitting up like that. It's flopped down low. And then back up again, and then let's come to land on G. Well done, and now you have really excellent posture and you're ready to play. <laughs> 